New details tonight on the bust of what's being called one of the largest dog fighting operations in Northeast Ohio history. 47 people were arrested and charged with dog fighting over the weekend in Akron. As 27 First News reporter Jeff Lutz Coolidge tells us, four of those who were arrested are from Warren. Akron police say this is the blood-stained ring where dogs would fight to the death. It was built into the garage of this home on Cordova Avenue. In the ring were two blood-stained knives. What they do is they'll stab a dog to make it angry to begin the fight. Just as the fight began Saturday night, police barged in. This was actually a very well orchestrated fight. So well orchestrated, there was a pile of chains to hold the dogs, a shower to wash the blood off, a treadmill to keep them in shape, a pen area, and a concession stand set up with food. Police arrested the suspected ringleader, Alvin Banks, but people from as far away as California were there when they busted up the operation, including Christopher Buford, Royce Green, Mar Hamid, and Darren Williams of Warren. Green had just been released from the Trumbull County Jail last week on drug charges. So they will transport animals out. They will transport animals out of state um, to partake, partake in the fight. Humane Officer Robin Stowe with the Trumbull County Animal Welfare League says dog fighting is here. The bigger the fight, the more money these people make. Fifty to sixty thousand dollars a fight. Nelson here was rescued from a home where dog fighting was alleged. There was ropes hanging from a tree to learn how to train the dogs. Stowe says these dogs have a fighting chance at a normal life, but most fighting dogs aren't so lucky. In Vienna, I'm Trouble County Bureau Chief Jeff Love Coolidge, WKBN 27 First News.